also called the preteritum. Mostly good for writing, not very interesting for us because we're into speaking, but there are a few exceptions that make our life easier to, to use. These ones, haben, sein, and werden. You know what haben is, you know what sein is, you know what werden is, but you probably forgot, you know? What's the Is it will? What, what is um, it? In future? Intention. Yeah, you want it to be the future, but it's not the future. Like it, it's used as the future, but the thing is, that's used in the past, that's used to make the past, but it isn't, doesn't mean that it is the past. It's got a meaning of its own, correct? Like that means to have, that means to be. Oh, okay. It means to become. And that's like, there is a strong relationship between becoming and being. That's philosophical. You can't be until you become. Mm. Very philosophical, yes. It is very philosophical. And German is philosophical. Haben in the present tense looks like this. Ich habe, du hast, er ist, sie hat, wir haben, ihr habt. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to use the simple past, you can. Do you know how? Yeah. What is it? Hatte. Mm -hmm. It's hatte. Um, I have typed it in. And the first and the third are the same. But the third, first and the third... <coughs> are the same in the preteritum. Do, what letters do we associate with the do form? Este. Este, este. So we have hattest. Wir hatten. Ihr. It's going to be that with a T. Hattet. 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 Yeah, ihr hattet. That's uh, good to know. This one, sign, that's what it is in the present tense. Ich bin, du bist, er, es, sie, mm -hmm. it, ihr sind, ihr seid. In the simple past, you know what it is? War. 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 And the first and the third are the same. What's the second? Warst. Warst. What's the fourth? Uh, waren, waren. And the fifth? Wart. Yeah, wart. Wa. You might think it's that, but it's not. It's that. Wart. Werden in the past. So this means ich werde, I become. Ich werde müde. And it, it's this. Do you know it? No. It's vo, it's that, but you don't know how to pronounce, you know, you don't know how to pronounce the U, and the U is pronounced like that. Okay. Vorder. 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 Yeah, and that's vordest, and this is vorder. So the first and the third are the same again. This is vorden. This is vordet. That's all pretty pretty good, huh? Like this comes back. Uh, the more you work with me, the more like this is the the magician. Verden gives you all the complex, the ability to say things that are complicated or complex. Verden is the magician. This is the other kind of the past tense. It's called the perfect, or it's the two word form. There's nothing really perfect about it. I love it. <laughs> yes. It just means in the past tense it's finished, but actually there's no difference between the meaning of the simple and the perfect. But it's got a two word form. It's used for speaking and informal writing, emails. It's really important to us. The first word, you got two words, right? I said it's those two words. It's a two word form. The first word is either have or sign, conjugated. Help a verb either have an or sign. This should say either 
either this should be this conjugated and then this having or sign it's mostly having mm -hmm. and the second word is the past participle and the past participle most often starts with ga but some don't so it looks like this, subject, conjugated verb, some other stuff, and the past participle at the end. That's German. Okay. We saw that. Now we're going to make the perfect form of it. And this is the basic formula for the past participle. It's ga plus the root plus t. So the past participle of haben is going to be what? Gehabt. It's going to be gehabt. The root is hab, ga, hab, ta, gehabt. Mm -hmm. Now we need a helper verb. The helper verb for haben is again haben. So if we had this, let's say this is 50, 50 oil. You had 50, you had 50 euros here using this form. I have to use haben here, conjugated. Plus so the that would be the. Huh? So the haben will be present, right? Yeah, this is in the present okay. tense. That's right. So what's that going to okay. be? Okay. Yeah. Ihr habt. Yeah. Ihr habt. Yeah. Vom Sigoro. Euro gehabt. Yeah. Habt gehabt. <laughs> kind of funny, eh? <laughs> habt gehabt. <laughs> The past participle goes to the end. We had an apartment. In meaning, these two things are the same thing. They, there's no difference in the meaning. So we could use this form, the perfect form. What would it be, Hanya? Wir haben eine Wohnung gehabt. And the other way? Wir hatten eine Wohnung. Exactly. Which do you prefer? I mean, I prefer perfect when I speak because it, it gives me time to remember some other things I want to say. <laughs> but I think That's more true. simple is uh, just regular past tense. They're, but they both mean the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a one word form, so it's a bit quicker. Uh, but you go, mostly when you're making the past, you go, wir haben, and then you think about what you <coughs> say. Yeah because you no. like you haven't thought about it enough <laughs> but let, let's use sign we've already done sign that's true but there are two forms and this is the other version of sign you mean varen exactly so we've done varen we did that one ihr wart ihr wart zu spät yeah we did that one now we'll do the other one the past participle is ge plus weird things weird stuff you know the past participle of sign the the past part of what past participle of sign sign uh is ga plus the weird stuff okay ga god damn it ga ga god damn it ga god damn it ga no gewesen yeah now, gewesen, like this takes sign, sign takes sign. So, like, you were tired, müde, using this form. This is the present tense of sign, ihr habt. No, it's sign. Ich war, war. No. Ihr Oh, Zeit. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ihr Zeit müde gewesen. Gewesen. So, this equal, these two things equal the same, or mean the same thing. That, you were tired, or, oh. ihr yeah. Zeit zu spät gewesen. gewesen. Sorry, what, what, what does this sentence mean? You get tired what too quickly? No, it's a past tense. Oh yeah, too, what that, too spät, too late. Is it too late? Oh, okay. You or were late. too late. Late, 
just late. You were you were late. Yeah, because in German uh, you have to be zu spät. You can't. You were late. late. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They mean the same thing. Werden. Let's make the past participle. It's again g uh, plus weird stuff. And it's this. It's g worden. Now we need the helper verb. And the helper verb for werden is haben or sein. What do you think? Haben? Sein. Nope. Sein. Sein. So you became tired. You got tired. I take that, stick it here, and then put conjugated sign there. See? Are you? Zin. Yeah. See, zin. Zizind or she is, she is, could be that. Zizind. Yeah, and then this one, she got tired. Well, it's that. It's ist, müde, geworden, oder the other one, see. It looks uh, like it, it's this. It's wurde, see, wurde, müde, pronounced like this. Vorda, spelled like that. Vorda. Mm -hmm. They mean the same thing. All right, that's excellent. So let's have a recap. What's the simple, simple past of haben? Hatten. Hatten. Huh? Hatten. Yeah, hatten. We'll just say hatten. You know, it's got the variations of it. What if we want to make the perfect? What's the helper for haben? Haben. The helper for haben is haben. What's the past participle of haben? Gehabt. 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 I am typing them in, but my computer is. Oh, yeah, okay, there you go. Sign. The past participle of. Oh, no. The preteritum or the simple past of sign is. War. Waren. Yeah, waren and waren. The variations, you know. War, vast, waren, vast. What's the helper for var for sign? Sein. Sein. The helper for sign is sign. The past participle of sign. Gewesen. Gewesen. The uh, the simple past of werden. Wurden. Gordon, the helper verb for werden. Sein. Sein, the past participle of werden. Geworden. Geworden. That's it. That's pretty important stuff. Here's some general ideas. If 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 it follows this pattern, go root plus t, it's a she. Ba. Ba. Most of them are sheep. Say ba, 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 ba. ba. Oh, or be. <laughs> That's what they are. They're this. So, what's the past participle of sagen? Gesagt. Gesagt. Yeah. Or there could be wolves. That's G E plus the infinitive. So, the past participle of geben is ge. Ge geben. Ge geben. No, no, it's the infinitive. Ge plus the infinitive. Gegeben. Gegeben. Yeah, 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 or it's a monster. G -E plus something weird. Oh. Always ends in en, except when it doesn't. Let's go like this. Star. Because there's one where it doesn't do it doesn't end in en, but most all you know, 99.99% of them end in en. That are monsters. So trinken, often what you want to do is just change the vowel. So drunk, huh? Getrunken? Yeah. Getrunken. Getrunken. So you would have said getrinken, but it became getrunken. And in English, we, we inherited that drunk, drinking drunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gayen is a weirdo monster. Yeah. You know? Mm. Oh. So there's some weird ones. 
but not that many really. <coughs> We've already seen these monsters give A's and then give Orton, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Generally, I told him that. Die Wahrheit gesagt. Is this I H? What's the next letter? Wahrheit gesagt. Gesagt. I told him the truth. <coughs> I gave it to him. She pay. Ich habe im S no. Uh, other way around. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Yes. Uh, S im G. I don't know. Yeah, you do. You just did it. Gegeben. You just did it there. It is. Ah, okay. Gegeben. Gegeben. Okay. I drank too much. I don't know how yet. It's just, you, you know, that this sound is teaser. Sir. That's mm -hmm. sound is sir. This sound mm -hmm. at the beginning of a word is that. Mm -hmm. So that is sagen. is sagen. And if you said zoo, that would be zu. Zu sagen. Zu, zu sagen. I don't know why that's there. It has nothing to do with the past. But sometimes the helper verb is sein. Let's make sure we remember it, which we do. Gehen takes sein as a helper verb. He went to the store. What was the past participle of go? This is a very well-structured document, it seems to me. What was the past participle gegangen. of sein? Yeah. Gegangen. Yeah, gegangen. He went to the <coughs> store. She paid. Yeah. No, no, look, look what I said. Oh, yeah. Hmm, okay. Er ist zu laden gegangen. Zum. Zum. Zum laden. So that, okay. To the store. Zu dem. Zu dem. Mm -hmm. Zum. Okay. Which verbs take sign as a helper? Well, these travel ones do. And we've got more to say about that later. Mm -hmm. But the, the, this gives you an idea. If you're traveling and it's you who's doing it, well, you or anybody, if you move from point A to point B with your body, it's probably going to be sign. Here's some interesting things. You know how to say there is or there are? Es gibt. Es gibt. What's the past tense? There were. Es gibt. No, es gab. Es gab. That's useful. Yeah. For general statements, es gibt, es gab. There are lots of dogs in Berlin. That's a, that's a general statement. Es gibt viele Hunde in Berlin. There were lots of dogs in Berlin. Es is God feeling? Yeah, and it has nothing to do. It's just that whether there is or there are or there were. It's a singular or plural. Es gab there were. But if you if you want to make a specific statement, then you use sign. There are two dogs in the street. Da. Are two dogs in the street? Da. Da sind. Da sind zwei Hunde auf der Straße. There were two dogs in the street. Da. Sind. Yeah, that would be this one. Da, da, da. da sind zwei Hunde auf der Straße. Past participle. Da waren zwei Hunde auf yeah, der Straße. You, you started this. Okay, all right, okay. I'm ah, going to go with it. Da waren zwei Hunde auf der Straße. Or da sind zwei Hunde auf der Straße. Past Ge participle. Gewissen. Yeah. Gewissen. Oh. Gewesen. Okay. <clears throat> Other kinds of past participle, like let's just remember what we have. We have sheep, wolves, and monsters. Mm -hmm. Sheep or ga, ruta. 
Wolves are ga infinitive. Monsters are ga something odd. Probably a vowel change. Then we make it a bit more, we go a bit further. We have wolf plus. <laughs> wolf plus is when you have EI, it becomes IE. Not all the time, sometimes. Bleiben becomes ge. Ge geblieben. Yeah, geblieben and schreiben becomes. Geschrieben. 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 And, but it doesn't work with these. Because Arbeiten is a sheep. Ge. Arbeitet. Or yeah, Arbeitet. Reisen is a sheep to travel. Ge. Geheistet. Geheist. It's, it's an R. Gereist. And Schneiden Gereist. is to cut such a monster. Geschneidet. No, it's a monster. We just lose a monster. The, okay. We lose the I. Uh, we lose the E. Geschnitten. Oh, geschnitten. Oh, okay. Geschnitten. Okay. Separating oh, verbs when they separate. So, like the past participle of holen, it's a uh, sheep. So it's ge. Geholt. Abgeholt. Geholt. So this is abgeholt. If if holen is geholt, then abgeholt. Uh, then abholen is ab. Geholt is still geholt. Mm. And you add an ab to the to the front of it. Or you can say that this separates and the ge slides in the middle. Mm -hmm. So what's the past participle of geben? Gegangen, uh, ge gegeben. So the past participle of aufgeben? Aufgeben? Yeah. Aufgegeben? Yeah. So I collected the kids. Ich, uh, ich hat. No, ich, ich, no, ich habe. Ich ja, habe ich habe die Kinder abgeholt. Yeah. I gave up spoken, Hanya. Um, I gave, uh, gave up. Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, ich habe, ich habe mit dem Rauchen aufgegeben. Exactly. Mit dem Rauchen. Aufgegeben. Very good, very good ladies. Do you feel good about that? Yay. Say hello to Sarah or say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. We don't know where you are eating more cake, probably. <laughs>